they may cover sun, but the sun never forget to shine. Never forgets to shine. Sun gon' rise again, and I swear she gon' be mine. I love you. Life. Baby, I just hope you're fine Baby, I love you I wish I could hold you Don't know why Don't lie Baby, take good care Of yourself For me, okay uh, Baby, take good care My name is Nilante Blankson, aka Nilante. I'm a medical practitioner, I practice in Accra, and I'm also a musician. I balance the two actually. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it me! But music and medicine have gone together for centuries. I mean, it's nothing new. Whilst music is offering the healing of the soul, and their mind. I mean, medicine is offering the healing of your, your physical being. So I think it's something that goes hand in hand. It's all therapeutic in a way. And if forever. I'm a singer and a songwriter. I play the guitar and I play the piano as well. Most of the songs which I've recorded so far are songs which I have actually written myself. And if ever, and if ever. I do all sorts of genres. I do reggae. I've been singing this reggae song. Yeah, I do so. I do pop and anything that I'm generally inspired to do. I've been doing music for years, I mean, since childhood. As a child, I was encouraged to play the piano by my parents. I learned how to play with a Jamaican lady who used to live in Accra called Mrs. Grace Nate. It was mainly classical music back then. I remember listening to a lot of music by Wulome, that was a traditional Ghanaian group, and other Ghanaian acts like Classic Vibes, Gosi Bisa and Fela Ransom Kuti. Then I started listening to some Bob Marley, Jimmy Cliff, Johnny Nash, a lot of the early reggae foundation, you know, artists. There was this group called Roots Anabo in Accra and another group called Impromptu. And I used to move around the rehearsal sessions and then they started encouraging me to start writing my songs so I started writing around that time. Well, initially, I was inspired to write music by what inspires every young person to write music, which is really peer pressure, you know? The need to do something that others can't do and, you know, to catch the fans, as we used to say back then. But currently, I mean, there's so many pressing things that make me write music from love to politics to socio-economic problems, you know? I mean, the inspiration comes and man just writes. Everybody. So naturally, all this writing and writing and writing of music has culminated in me writing a whole lot of singles, which I had to do underground anyway because I was in medical school. Some I recorded, some I released, some found that were onto the radio, etc. But I really wasn't into it till two years ago when I started putting together my first album. I went into the studio with um, a producer called Zap Mallet, and we came out with a Love and Revolution album, which had songs like Rocky Road, Big Trees, and When You Love Someone. When you love someone, you be there, you be there. When you love someone, this crazy fool will be there. When you love someone, you're still there, you're still there. Currently, I've got songs lined up for the release of a second album, which will be titled True Feelings. It has 11 songs, and the album was basically recorded in Jamaica with producers Mikey Bennett and Dean Fraser. True Feelings because it is a mix 
of various expressions of pent up feelings in myself. I mean, musical influences, reactions to things I see going around the world. So it sort of captures my true mood as at now, which is a whole spectrum of feelings. Basically, it's a reggae album with some pop songs as well on it. I'm singing this song for you. Huh? So you be good for me too. The album again featured musicians like Sharon Anderson, Dwayne Stevenson, G. Blunt, and a whole lot of other artists. Dean Fraser did some saxophone work on it as well. You may consider the brand Nilante to be that of an African artist who sings a lot about love. Baby, I love you. I wish I could hold you. African unity and the need for Africa to be liberated in all its forms, to rise up beyond all the things that hold us back. It also is a brand that expresses the wish for people to have equal opportunity all over the world, for people to be one another's keeper. Well, so currently I have a Nipe member band. It's a fixed band who I rehearse with very regularly, and we've been doing this for like the past two years. The band is quite tight now. We've played at a whole number of concerts, the last one being Collaboration 2013 at Ikeja in Lagos. And in the past, we've played at the Bass Music Awards, we've played at the Ghana Music Awards, we've played at the Bob Marley Bash. And so, with the improvement we've made so far, I guess we're ready to take on the world. We're still the 